Ladies and gentlemen, it is with immense pride that I present to you Botato. So yeah, this is a silent putt-putt motor boat. Well, hopefully it is made from a sweet potato. In fact, the only kind of true potato, as you'll see if you watch this video. So let's see if we can get this thing running. If you want to watch the montage of how I made this, skip to this timestamp here. Right, so we've got to prime the thing first, which means we've got to fill up those tubes with water. That's nearly done. And I will just finish it off. And what I'm going to do is actually bring the water into my mouth and squirt it down one of those tubes because I haven't got a small enough pipette. So it goes into the water. That should stop the priming from leaking out. And then we'll get the candle lit underneath it. Hopefully that will bear fruit. Let's give it a little time, time to warm up and see if we get any movement. Oh, I can see little ripples happening at the back. And here we go. Yes, we have propulsion. It's not what I would call energetic, but that boat is now moving on its own. I think I may have actually used too narrow gauge a tube there. I used three millimeter outside diameter tube, and I think that might actually just be a little bit too thin for what we need to do here. And it's probably impeding the flow a bit. So we are getting a tiny little bit of thrust there. I can see ripples on the surface of the water and that engine is pulsing, but not. Well, there was a thing. And there it is. There we go, ladies and gentlemen, Botato. So the Botato, only moderate success with this design of silent putt-putt engine. I was actually quite pleased with how well those soldered on. You're not supposed to be able to solder copper to steel using lead solder, but it seemed to work okay. I used lots of lots of flux. I imagine that's not a very strong joint, but it is a sealed joint. We'll save this and I'll see if I can do something with it later. I have a feeling I've used too narrow gauge a tube for this and that's restricting the flow. So what are we going to do about the botato? What about having an electric botato? We know that this thing works, so why don't we just see if we can cram all of this stuff into there. It still works. Let's jam this peristaltic pump into the potato boat and see if we can make an electric potato. Well, let's get straight back in there and see if we've got a working boat, electric boatato. So, does it float? Yes, just. So, electric boatato, activate.
so there it is folks that's the potato kind of a bit of a weird concept but I felt it's something I had to do we'll probably work on this design of pop pop engine a little bit more see if we can refine that into something that's a bit more powerful meanwhile I think we've proved the concept you can make a boat out of a potato what's your ideas for powered vegetables thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.